So here we come up with the structures present in inferior mediastinum. As we know, inferior mediastinum is divided into three different parts: the anterior mediastinum, middle mediastinum, and posterior mediastinum. Now, structures in anterior mediastinum here. In the anterior mediastinum, we have the following structure. So first, we mark here the two sternopericardial ligaments. So please mark here superior inferior sternopericardial ligaments and we are going to keep on marking here 1 and 2 superior and inferior sternopericardial ligaments so this is what this is structure number 1 in anterior mediastinum structure number 2 loose areolar connective tissue loose areolar connective tissue so here we are going to mark even this structure as loose areolar connective tissue because these are asked as MCQs that is why I am writing down in points third structure will be known as the here I am going to mark this structure as the retrosternal lymph node so we are going to mark this as retrosternal lymph node and structure number 3 and then comes structure number 4 which we are going to mark it as the mediastinal branches of internal thoracic artery. So here we are going to mark this as mediastinal branches of internal thoracic artery. So these are the four structures that are included in the anterior mediastinum. Please note down because once again I repeat they may be asked in MCQs superior and inferior sternopericardial ligaments, then loose areolar connective tissue, then the retrosternal lymph node and mediastinal branches of internal thoracic artery. Now we come to middle mediastinum. Now in the middle mediastinum, what I'll do is, I don't have space left here, so I'm going to mark here middle mediastinum and I am going to write down the structure. Similarly, we are going to draw the structures also. The first structure I am going to write down will be pericardium including the heart. Please note down. First structure, pericardium including the heart. Second structure will be ascending aorta. Third structure will be the pulmonary trunk and its divisions into the right pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery. These three structures once again here we are going to mark. So this, this itself is the pericardium and the heart. First structure, second structure will be ascending aorta, third structure will be the pulmonary trunk. So somewhere over here we are going to mark pulmonary trunk which is dividing into the right and left pulmonary artery. So here I am marking this structure as pulmonary trunk and we are going to show here this as pulmonary trunk and its divisions into right and left pulmonary arteries. I hope this is coming. Okay. So therefore these are the three structures pericardium and heart, ascending aorta, then pulmonary trunk and its two divisions right and left pulmonary artery. Now structure number four. So first I am going to mark, I am going to write here structure number four and that will be our pulmonary veins. So 1, 2, then 3, then 4 and then 5, structure number 5. Structure number 5 will be the lower part of, lower part of superior vena cava including the arch of a zygous vein. This is very important. Structure number 5 also. So 4 and 5, we are going to mark here, so we are going to mark this as the 4 pulmonary veins which we are going to mark here, so please note down here, these will be the entire 4 pulmonary veins which we are going to mark and therefore these are the pulmonary veins, so here we are going to mark this as the 4 pulmonary veins. And then we mark here the lower part of, we extend this down as lower part of superior vena cava and we show here arch of a zygous vein which is opening. And therefore we are going to mark these two structures as structure number 5. 
lower part of superior vena cava and arch of azygous vein. Remember upper part of superior vena cava, it was included in the superior mediastinum. So upper part of superior vena cava is in superior mediastinum, lower part of superior vena cava where the arch of azygous vein is opening, including the arch of azygous vein is included in the middle mediastinum. These are the structures in the middle mediastinum. So please note down, arch of ozygous vein is a structure of middle mediastinum, including the lower part of superior vena cava. Then once again, now structure number 6, where we mark this as <coughs> the lower part of the trachea, the bifurcation of trachea that is called. And it bifurcates into the right and left bronchi. The bifurcation including the right and left bronchi. So therefore, here we show this trachea bifurcation into the right and left bronchi. We show with simple line diagram. So therefore, these are the bifurcations of trachea into right and left bronchi. And including that, there will be the lymph node which will be located here. And that lymph node will be the inferior tracheobronchial lymph nodes. Certain inferior tracheobronchial lymph nodes are also included here. Now, these are the structures which are present in the middle mediastinum. Once again, I repeat the pericardium including the heart. Then there will be ascending aorta. Then there will be pulmonary trunk and its division into right and left pulmonary arteries. Then there will be the opening of the four pulmonary veins. Then there will be the lower part of superior vena cava where the arch of azygous vein is opening and then there will be bifurcation of the trachea into right and left bronchi including the lymph node, inferior tracheobronchial lymph node. And along with this, now the important nerves which will be there, structure number 7 and that now will be phrenic nerves. The phrenic nerve as well as pericardiophrenic vessels. Please note down, phrenic nerve and pericardiophrenic vessels. So phrenic nerve is also included in this middle mediastinum. Here we have drawn the phrenic nerve. This was our phrenic nerve. So phrenic nerve and pericardiophrenic vessels, they are included. So here we mark this structure as phrenic nerve and pericardiophrenic vessels. Please note down. So phrenic nerve is a structure, it is a content of middle mediastinum, not vagus nerve, only phrenic nerve and pericardiophrenic vessels. And last structure, we can note down here as structure number 8 belonging to middle mediastinum, the deep cardiac plexus. The entire deep cardiac plexus belongs to middle mediastinum. So these are the 8 structures which belong to the middle mediastinum, very simple including the phrenic nerve and pericardiophrenic vessels and the deep cardiac plexus and all the remaining structures which I have discussed. Now we come to posterior mediastinum. Now what are the boundaries of posterior mediastinum? The posterior mediastinum will have the following boundaries. First, posteriorly, it is bounded by lower 8 thoracic vertebrae. Anteriorly, it is bounded by, if you see anteriorly from superior to inferior, the subdivisions of trachea, then there will be pulmonary veins, then there will be the pericardium, posterior surface of pericardium, then there will be the sloping surface of diaphragm, there will be the sloping, posterior sloping surface of diaphragm. So these are the anterior boundaries of posterior mediastinum. What are the structures in posterior mediastinum? Very important. Now the entire structures which are present in posterior mediastinum we divide into vertical and transverse, vertical group. That means the structures which are present in vertical direction. We start with, if I write over here, if, is it possible? So here I will write posterior mediastinum and here we write structure number 1. That will include esophagus and structure number 2. That will include thoracic duct and structure number 3. That will include descending thoracic aorta. So these three structures, once again, if we come on this side, we are going to show these three structures and these three structures will be, please mark, esophagus, descending thoracic aorta, this one, and we are going to mark this structure as 
the thoracic duct. So all the three structures are available here and they are 1, 2 and 3. Esophagus, descending thoracic aorta and the thoracic duct. Three structures in the posterior mediastinum. Now fourth structure. We include, once again, we come over here, the fourth structure which is included here along with them will be the azygous veins and hemiazygous veins. Azygous and hemiazygous veins. So if we come on this side, here we are going to include the, we are just going to show azygous and hemiazygous veins. So simple with line diagram, we are going to show azygous and hemiazygous veins. So now four structures, esophagus, descending thoracic aorta, thoracic duct, and azygous and hemiazygous veins. Four perpendicular structures. Now five and six will include the nerves. And which nerves they will include? So we are going to show, which is this nerve? We had marked previously only, vagus nerve. So this will be the vagus nerve. And along with vagus nerves, there will be the various nerves you can mark here, these nerves will be known as, here which I am marking, splanchnic nerves. So, vagus and splanchnic nerves. Vagus nerve and splanchnic nerves. Please come on this side. So, number 5, vagus nerves. And number 6, splanchnic nerves. And number 7. Posterior mediastinal lymph node. So please note down. Posterior mediastinal lymph node. So this is how we mark posterior mediastinal group of lymph node. So therefore, these are the vertical group of structures which are included in posterior mediastinum. We start with esophagus, thoracic duct, then descending thoracic aorta, then azygous vein and hemiazygous veins, then the vagus nerve, then the splanchnic nerve and a posterior mediastinal group of lymph nodes. What are the transfer structures? So please come on this side. The transfer structures which are present, see this is also very important in the posterior mediastinum, what are they? Transfer structures, very simple. The opening of accessory azygous and hemiazygous veins respectively at the level of D7 and D8 where they drain from the left to the right in the azygous vein. So here, the accessory azygous, termination of accessory azygous vein into the azygous vein and termination of hemiazygous vein into the azygous vein. So structure number one, transfer structures which are located in the posterior mediastinum will be accessory azygous vein termination and hemiazygous vein termination which we have discussed during the azygous system. Then third structure will be the deviation of thoracic duct from right to left, where the thoracic duct deviates transversely from right to left. And similarly, fourth structure, the posterior intercostal vessels. So that means it, it will include the posterior intercostal arteries and veins. These are the transfer structures which are located in posterior mediastinum. Please try and understand. So, the termination of accessory azygous vein, termination of hemiazygous vein, then the thoracic duct where it deviates from the right to the left side and the posterior intercostal arteries and veins, that means posterior intercostal vessels. So here we have finished the entire structures present in the posterior mediastinum. So, thank you very much.